Welcome back to Silver Run Forest on Farming Simulator 22 Platinum Edition for episode 4 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Okie dokie then. It's not much time has passed since I last saw you. I can't remember if I showed you it then the last episode. I bought I bought that dump. The the theory seems to be from comments received and what I kind of alluded to in the last episode it's because there was not enough weight over the fifth wheel is why I'm getting wheel slip so uh, we got rid of the trailer we had we bought the um, oh which one was that the Lizard 9509 by R. Mihail um, what I'm also going to do now this is just about transparency I'm probably not going to see now till September 2 maybe October I've got a couple of I finished the rock breaking contract and another tree delivery contract had turned up so i've got my land rover out there i'm gonna to have to take everything out in two runs but that doesn't matter it, i was hoping to have it all in one sort of chain of vehicles but it's not the end of the world the land rover is pretty sharpish i am even considering i love my land rovers um maybe getting a pickup because i don't know why actually just i think it would fit better size wise maybe get a jewelry something like that i don't know for pulling the trailer with the skid still loader on uh, the other one is over here i've still got the deadwood contract and we are going to buy the sawmill um but oh yeah i need to i suppose buying the sawmill needs to be done actually it doesn't matter sooner rather than later it doesn't really matter i haven't i haven't got any animals i haven't got any crops that are growing or need to be planted or sown or anything like that so it's much easier doing something like this to be able to skip ahead months um, than it is when you've got crops to seed and plant and you've got crop windows and you've got livestock you've got to feed. In this case, it's actually not too bad. So what I'm going to be doing is getting rid of both these and we're going to go for a single log trailer that will go on the fifth wheel, which hopefully will avoid some of the wheel slip because once you get logs on there as well, that'll put a bit more weight down on it. So what we're going to do is sell those. We're not going to get mega money for them. But it's a little bit of money. Uh, and then we're going to buy the one I've got my eye on. And I quite like the look of it. It's the uh, Lizard Lo is it Logos? Logos 21. The Logo 21. 42 grand. That thing extends as well. So if you look at the one that... This one here, the, the Schwarzmüller, that does the same thing. Is it that one or is it the flatbed? The flatbed does, doesn't it? Um, but this... For the money is amazing. Um, beacon wise, what am I going to go with? Yeah, maybe that. Uh, main colour, I think I'm going to leave design colour. I might just leave it as it is, actually. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm going to leave the logger because it's a log trailer. We'll leave that number plate. That'll match up with the lorry. 42,375. Now, Just thinking, how much money have I got left? Have I got enough to buy the sawmill? I think so. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now, this is going to go off, and this will be um, doing the log deliveries. But like I say, the great thing about this now, now we've got some weight over the fifth wheel, it should alleviate some of the problems. Says. Some of the concerns seem to be because this is very high horsepower. I went for the, the all singing, all dancing. Um, accelerating too hard, you're going to get a, little, a lot of wheel spin. So, in all honesty, in the last episode, I was a few times I was really feathering the throttle and I was just trying to pull away really slowly. I wasn't just nailing it every time, I wasn't going full Clarkson. Um, but with this one, if I go, is it L1 uh, right stick side to side or is it L1 R1 and right stick side to side? I'm trying to think what it was. L1, R1 and left stick side side. It extends all the way out to there. Plus rear steer on the rear axles, which makes turning phenomenal. So actually for the money, it's no brainer. So I'm now gonna get this up to log in site. Get a couple more log deliveries done. And the thing is, like I say, if I skip ahead to uh, September 2, possibly October, 
I might get a few more of those over the course of the day, over the course of the next couple of days. Why is that jake brake keep turning on? Should I turn it off already? I'm still even thinking, it's funny isn't it? It's nice to bang around a map quickly and get to places fast when you want to. But I'm... Um, 60 seems too fast. I know this goes up to like 158 or something insane like that. Where's the turn? So yeah, I'll see you later on. And like I said, we've got sawmill purchase to do. I'm going to do a deadwood test. I've had something suggested to me. Sorry, I didn't bang the mic. Um, I had something suggested to me. I think it's, by, it's either by Nate. Uh, Nate or Nath. Sorry if I've said it wrong. But um, yeah, something I might give a go moving forward. We need a bit of land to do it. I don't want to give, it, give the game away now. But it could be or would be to do with... Um, Deadwood and making it a bit more productive. Um, I suppose doing it sooner rather than later would make sense, but the problem is the building I need to get is 110 grand. And I haven't got a spare 110 grand at the moment, so yeah, we'll see how we go with that. Where do I need to go? Is it the next turn? I've got the map open because I'm doing my usual and I've probably completely lost myself. Nothing wrong with that, I still get to drive around. Anyway, yeah, so see you later on. I'm here at the old sawmill. I know it's not September 2 or October yet. I know it's when I said I would see you again. However, I was doing the Deadwood contract that I was um, that I picked up and I decided rather than just take one tree, as I said I was originally going to do, I took all of them. I thought, why not? Might as well get them all. But before I complete the contract, and I know when I completed the contract last time on the first episode, I lost a load of the logs. So before I complete the contract, I bought all the logs up here I've dropped them all off, unloaded them, and I've chopped up one. Because the deadwood was worth nothing selling it as logs. So having bought the sawmill, as you can see I'm down to 40,467. Scary. Um, but we do own all of this now, and fantastically, we own all the land that it's on too. So all of that, by buying the sawmill for 250 grand, we own all of that. What I'm going to do now is put one dead wood tree through the wood chipper to see... Oh, that's the point. I haven't got a bucket. <laughs> that doesn't have a capacity, does it? It's a log fork. Um, to see how much we get wood chip wise for one tree. Wood chip prices are pretty good. They're about 400 odd for a thousand litres. So anything more than getting $24 for an entire trailer load is more money. Although, like I say, there is an alternative, but that's going to cost 120 grand to to buy. But I could put it up here, actually. Now we've got space. And uh, like I say, I don't have the money yet. So what I'm going to do is put this in. What we should see, hopefully, if this works, is all over way over there. Should get wood chips pouring out the spout there. At the end of the day, even if I only got a few thousand litres, at 400, 500 for a thousand litres, it's still better than better than getting nothing. Now I've got the skids loaded over here, so what I'll do is the rest of it I'll do in larger chunks, um, and I can do more logs at a time, and we'll get the whole lot in there. 
I am curious and just think because I thought I haven't got a bucket. So what I might have to do is get a skid to load the bucket. Because I sold the, t <laughs> the 2,000 litre one, which one I, I couldn't pick up any ore with it because it was too heavy. So I need to get one that's more suited for the size. I have to say though, I mean it is saying there's wood chips coming out. Once we've done the full tree. This was a test I've been wanting to do. And then like I say, between now and the next episode, I will probably pick up some more log delivery contracts. Why would not put them up from the end? There we go. So we'll have a bit more money. But then also what I need to do is a load of logging myself on my own property. Because we need to now start supplying the sawmill. And we can get the ball rolling on products. We'll build up a bit ahead of, uh, ahead of steam. And once we've got a few products ready to go, then we can start supplying things like the boatyard, roller coaster, all of that. Hopefully. Didn't like that. That's interesting. Oh, okay. I'm going to climb up on there. Oh, it's got stuck at the other end. What's... <laughs> Brilliant, okay. There we go. Let's have a look at the pile of wood chips. We should get a good gauge. Now, the, the point being, it does say that um, wood chips here at the old sawmill, you get more wood chips you know, than you would do normally, that being said. That is a shockingly small pile for an entire tree. So I honestly... So I know someone, who's it messaged me? Someone messaged me to say, once you've bought the old sawmill, the dead wood trees, if you put them through the wood chipper, you get way more wood chips than you would do selling the tree. Um, that's not way more wood chips. That's a... Shockingly small amount. So now I'm worried. Mind you, I suppose once I put all the trees through, it's still got to be better than selling them and making $24, I guess. I don't know. So I've got a bit of work to do now. Put all the rest of the trees through and see what we end up with. Um, Deadwood contracts moving forward? I don't know. Like I say, I've got something else up my sleeve I'm going to try that Nate messaged. I don't know if I've got room for it up here, but I need to earn some more money to, before I can do that. So I'm in that position now where I either need to do my login to fill up a log trailer to sell because I need the money, or I fill up a log trailer, bring it up here to put into the sawmill because I need the products. So which way around am I going to do it? I might do alternate loads. One load I sell, one load I bring here maybe. That could be something I could look at. So uh, yeah, I'll, um, like I said, I'll see you later. Depends when now. It's early doors here at Silver Run. It's just gone seven o'clock in the morning. September two. A lot has happened <laughs> since September one. I did quite a bit of stuff off camera, and I got told off. I got told off by Mrs. Sealy Fee. Um, we were still away um, in the Lake District and I've been doing recording and prep and bits and bobs off camera. And she said to me, but people don't get to see what you're doing. And I said, I know, but they've seen me doing logging before. And she said, yeah, but what if I haven't watched any of those episodes before? What if they're new to your channel? What if they don't? And I said, yeah, it's a fair point. It is a fair point. A few things have changed. I'm in this cycle of improving my equipment and upgrading i guess but streamlining trying to work out what works what doesn't what's you know so a couple of things have changed since i last saw you 
Um, we're going to go up to the sawmill. We're going to talk about the wood chipping. Um, that entire pile of logs you've already seen me do or start doing, I did all of it because I just thought, oh, you know, it'll be worth doing. It wasn't. Um, I'll tell you how much we made when we got up there. Um, I've got some new machinery. You've probably already seen on the video, yeah, that I've done a whole lot of contracts. So September 1, I was busy. I kept going. That being said, September 2, I've taken on another two log delivery contracts because, hey, why wouldn't you? It's free money, really. I mean, just I've got a little bit of work to do, but nothing major. So I'll show you the streamlining, show you what I do. Today is going to be, we're going to get in and get some, some sawmill work done. I have got one full lorry load of lumber. We're going to take up to the sawmill. And we're going to put it in there and we're going to get the sawmill producing. Because we've gone into September 2, the thing I want to do is check on the iron furnace. Because we should have some metal work that should, the metal should be done. We should have at least a couple of pallets, if not more. I have been clearing some more trees here. This is where I've got my, my full load from. But I have got some more down the side of the hill. I'm going to do some up here on the flat area. Because I, I can expand them. Because this is nice and flat. This was the area I'm thinking. If I do need to do sheep, this might not be a bad area to put a sheep pen. If I'm going to do it. If I'm going to do fabric. Honestly, I, I think I do. But possibly not yet. So I've cleared a few. But anyway, I've got a few trees down the bottom. And this is what Mr. P was saying. Now, if you've moved on from manual logging in so much as you've already got yourself a tree harvester, you're using a fella buncher, you're doing whatever you're doing, this is not relevant. But if when you're first starting out, if you don't have any of that, if you don't have uh, the measuring tape mod if you're on PC and you're just doing measuring, get yourself a measuring stick, find a nice thin tree, something like that, knock it down, get your help menu open on, what one do we want? I haven't got it on there. You get your field info on. And that will tell you the length of the trees you've got. So then what you can do is you can chop a bit off and then see what's left and chop it off and you just gradually get down to the size you want. Now I've been doing five metre log lengths up until now, but because I've now got the bigger log trailer, I'm doing sixes. So my previous cutting stick was too short. This one's just over at 6.1. So what I've been doing, I'll tell you what, for me, out of this entire pack so far, the um, winches, oh man, I use them all the time. I'm cutting down the trees at the moment until I get a, a yard or something like that. But I'm putting the trees down, dragging them all down, getting them into a nice neat row, trying to line them up as best as I can, butting the ends up, and then I do measuring. So rather than cutting one tree, doing six metre lengths all the way along it, then getting another tree, six metre lengths all the way along it. I, I know if you've seen this, me do this before, that's absolutely great. But Mr. Silly Peach said, you know, but what if somebody hasn't seen you do it? And it's a fair point. They might not have done so. That's why I'm showing you. So get your measuring stick, lay it up next to it, as close as you can, find the end, get your saw, chainsaw, and then... Well, these aren't going to be perfect, but it doesn't matter. They're going to be close enough until I can get to a point where I get a tree harvester. Now, it has also been mentioned, if you've got a bit of money, Mr. Silly P, um, why don't you just lease a tree harvester? And that's an incredibly good point too. And that's what I'm probably going to be looking at in the next episode is leasing or buying. Do I start off with leasing? Now, you'll probably remember on the Western Wilds, there was one that I bought and I, I think I entitled it... Um, what did I entitled it? Uh, budget Cuts. So it was Budget Cuts. See what I did there. Um, and it was the Lizard 560, I want to say, from Woodcraft Modding? Or was it NMC? It might be North Modding Company. Um, and that thing was brilliant. It was 120, 130 grand. Now, the problem with it is it doesn't do very big trees. So I think if I am going to, I might lease it to start off with and see kind of up to what girth trees I can get away with. Because obviously on, on this map, on Silver Run, we've got new tree types. So the sort of trees I was kind of used to doing on Western Wilds I could get away with was fine. The real big girthy ones I had to go with the old, the uh, Rotner Works. There's a uh, modded Scorpion King that works from HR Forced and Fuzzle Gabal. And there's a few bits and bobs out there. So it was that case of, um, you know, how what do I do here? So for the time being, I'm still doing manual cutting. But I do want to get tree harvest. So obviously, what are we on? Episode 4? Um, and I know I've done a few things off camera I probably shouldn't have done. Um, but I'm trying to I'm trying to move along. I, I, there's a lot of stuff I want to get done. And I'm still in that excited phase of, oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want to do that. You know, and it's brilliant. And I love the fact I'm feeling that. You know, 
there's nothing worse than starting a map and you kind of do a few things and think, okay, I just feel like I'm going through the motions a little bit. Um, this doesn't feel like that at all. This this feels a whole, this is a whole different animal, you know. Yes, there's a bit of repetition. We're cutting down trees and stuff, but I don't mind that. But that's why I want to improve and speed up my processes. Let's move that just so I can see where the join is. This one might go right to the end. Oh, there it goes, just a little bit left. And the offcuts I'm keeping hold of. I am going to wood chip these because I think the regular lumber is worth wood chipping. Um, so what I'll do is put that with that and that. So there you go. I just thought, you know, I would show you. I've, I've, I've done a bit. So, next thing I want to show you is, turn that off. These will be, um, I'll put these onto the log tray later on. I'll cut a few more down. The dead wood's going to stay where it is, and the smaller trees are going to stay where they are because they need to continue to grow. But we're going to whiz through here because, you know, I said about the Land Rover, and I was talking about the fact that it's only because I, I said I want to get a pickup because the pickup would fit the map better. It would fit where I am better, I think. Um, and we've got that situation that I don't know if anyone noticed. It wasn't just me that noticed, but it the trailer I'm pulling, we've got, got a bit of an 82 Studio thing going on, but that's fine. It's, it's you know, stuff I wanted to do. I'm not sure I went this way. Um, it wasn't particularly pulling this well, and the landing gear here would catch every now and again if I went over a, a join or up at the, the old sawmill where you've got the sort of raised crossing areas. It wasn't working particularly well for me. So, all the contracting work I'd done, that you've just, or you saw it a while ago, um, the little screen come up, I was up to about 77, 75 grand, 77 grand. So I bought something. Now, hopefully, selling the Land Rover, <laughs> what I bought cost about 57 or 55 grand to replace the Land Rover. I didn't want to replace the Land Rover, but I'm going to replace the Land Rover, because what I'm replacing it with is, is just as cool, I think. But, and I haven't had it long. So what I'm hoping now is that selling that is going to re recover or replace what I've just bought. 57, so the other one must have been 55. I know they were both around there somewhere. So if we sell that, we're back up. 72. It might be it was 70 grand, not 77. So around the back is what we bought. It's brilliant. I went orange again because, hey, I wanted to keep some remnant of the Land Rover. So this, like I say, this was 50, yeah, 55, something, but it wasn't very much at all. I say very much at all. I've got it raised. We can raise and lower it if we want to. I've got ball bars. I've got spotlights. I've got flashing things all over the place. I thought it will fit better, it will pull better, it will do my logging trailer better, it, it just, it will work, you know, it's... So, I mean, look at that, that's perfect, isn't it? Pretty much bang on. So, what I'm going to do is take this out. Uh, where's my next logging adventure? If we go out of here, turn right just where the little park is, follow the road all the way up, we'll get to that. And then what I'll do is I'll grab my log... Um... Oh, you may notice as well, I've got my log fork. Grab is there. I have switched out for a bag handler, simply because... I mean, I'd like to have to use the log fork. Log fork, for log fork works. However, in the interest of my own sanity and for speeding up doing these jobs more off-camera than on-camera, I've gone for the CSZ pack bag handler. Um, for doing things like the, oh, I'll show you, it's, it's much quicker and easier to just pick up the logs and I can manipulate them a little bit easier and I can get them onto the log trailer easier. Um, so again, it's speeding up that process. When I get to a point where I can get the big Volvo that does like an entire train load in one grab, that'll be, you know, we're going to go through some evolutions before we get to that point. But any of these processes I can speed up and streamline, it's a win. It's a win all day long. So, this just, it's just, yeah, it's just better, isn't it? The, I mean, the Land Rover does its job and it works and I love it. And the thing was, when I was in Griffin and I was saying about getting a new vehicle, I ummed and ah so much. Do I get a Land Rover? Do I get a pickup? 
because I knew I was going to be coming here and I thought I'll get the Land Rover, I'll get the Land Rover, it'll be fine, you know, and I really wanted the Land Rover, but in all honesty, this is the TLX 2022 series, I love it, it's very cool, I mean, that, yeah, you know, other pickups are available, it's the same with anything I'm using, I, you know, I've had people message me saying, I should have used this, I should have used that, do you know you could have used this, could have, you, you know, and that happens all the time, of course it does, this is just the equipment I'm using, you know, you guys, use whatever you want to use, I know there's, there are numerous options available for all the various different things I'm doing. Of course there are. Maybe some are better than others. This is just what I've chosen to use. You, know, so you don't have to use it. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just doing my thing. So, I want to get some log production underway. Uh, I want to get one log load delivered to the sawmill and we'll get that running. Actually, while we're up it, oh, actually, I'm probably doing it well. We'll probably finish without checking the metal, but... Oh, we? It's got to be along here somewhere. Unless I've made the wrong turn somewhere, but I'm sure it's along. Oh, there we go. So I'll pull that up there. That trailer does shift around a little bit sometimes, I have noticed. Does that have a razor ball? I don't think it does. A razor ball and lowerable tow hitch. So I will still detach it just so it levels it up a little bit. There we go. So what I have been doing for all of my login, I've kind of I've str I'm streamlining it a little bit as we go. But what we can do is, because um, I can extend that right out as well, the teleskid, which is just gorgeous. Uh, I can give those a bit of a shift deep, drop that down a little bit, and I can kind of level them out a little bit, lay them flatter. So when you pick them one up at a time, that kind of thing, it just works a little bit easier. about there, that back a little bit. There you go. Do the same with the other side, then when I come to pick them up it's a lot easier. So what I can do is pull that in, and rather than having to come up to each pile now, well, easy tie gets to have you are, um, and I've got to open the grab, close the grab, pick it up, all the manipulation, that, you know, again, it doesn't matter. I'd like to say I'm just doing this for my own sanity off camera. If I'm trying to get a load of work done, I was finding while I was away with Miss Silly P, uh, my time was limited because we were trying to go out, we were doing walks, we were taking farm dog out, we were visiting places. I was trying to cram stuff in, but I was finding the time I needed between episodes to do prep work and log in and all the different jobs and things. Um, I was running out of time. I can drag that, there you go, just get one out of the way, then bomb, 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 job done, and away we go. No opening and closing the grabs. It takes a little bit of time for each one. It just speeds up a little bit. And then we come to load up our log trailer. Absolutely golden. So just thought I'd show you that bit because that's something I have been doing. I didn't want to just, again, be a couple of episodes in and people all of a sudden say, hang on a minute, where, where, when did you get that? Where did you get that from? So that's what I'm doing with that. Um, that's the SZ pack. And I will say again, uh, all the mods I'm using are in the description. Um, not, there aren't links, like I say, I'm not on PC, I'm on console, so they are in the description. If you're wondering what I'm using, I try and keep that as up to date as possible. So, that's that bit. What I'm going to do now is go and grab my <laughs> my lorry and log trailer, and you may notice some changes there too. So, here we are at the sawmill that we own. It all looks right at the moment. What I didn't realise, I'd bought a transformer, which is amazing. Um, <laughs> you may notice up front, it doesn't look quite as it did before. Uh, that's because the one that I did purchase, the gearbox went. I've had that before with, lot, with um, tractors. Um, that gearbox problem I was having where it kept bumping itself into neutral was just no good. No good whatsoever. I tried it going uh, into manual. I was bouncing between manual gearbox, automatic gearbox, bouncing between the two. I took it down um, off camera and, and with down the main vehicle shop. 
I tried changing the engine size. I thought maybe it's that. Maybe I was on the wrong because you've got like power shift gearboxes, and maybe I was on the wrong gearbox. And I, it, for some reason, just I was having real problems. So what I thought I would do was get myself a TLX Phoenix instead. This was almost exactly the same price for this configuration. I've got agricultural tyres, um, heavy duty front bumper, a few bits and bobs. Um, this is nowhere near the horsepower. I think say no in it that was 2000 and something this is 1500 and something. so it's still it's got a bit of oomph to it but um a little bit different so as you can see we have got a full log trailer and you'll see also why i made that mistake in episode one when i came over to here um and didn't click on the sell wood because once you own it well you'll see if, assuming it still does it or i just dreamt it and um, we're going to back this down unload our lump lumber watch the sawmill in action and we'll get this going while we're up here, we'll also talk about the wood chip situation. Yeah. I have to say, I don't mind either. And someone did mess me and say, you don't have to use TLX uh, uh, A2 Studio lorries. There are lots. Of, again, I know there are. I would love to get one of the Volvos for the price. These were the best bang for the buck I found. See, what should happen is, as we back onto there. There you go. Look, my logs are going automatically. And they're going up onto there already. And that's why because i was backing up to here when i was doing my test map and everything was working just fine and the logs were just disappearing i just assumed for some reason in my head it would do that everywhere and it didn't and that's why i went wrong so mill pond and i loved uh, this is just i know i've shown it already it depends if you watched any of my um sort of guide videos or anything i was doing when the game when this came out or whether you're just watching the let's play but this that's just going to carry on chugging away they'll gradually come out of there into the mill pond now what i can do if i want to is just click on the cell wood and it will do it that is pretty cool though Anyway, hopefully, I'm not quite, I don't know how many, you know, how many litres we're going to have, but what we'll do, oh, that's going to need a bit of a shove, isn't it? Ah, uh, that's going to be a problem. Fine. Oh, I've got enough here. Can't, if I jump up and down on it, maybe that'll work. <laughs> I'm not sure it will. I might have to do the cell lumber on that one. Let's see if we can get that one to shake loose. There we go. So while that's unloading, let's resolve it. So at the moment, 24,000 litres. That first one's not completely empty yet, and we've got all that to go as well. So, plenty to be getting us going. What we need to do now is go up to here. It's here somewhere. There we go. I'm not going to do wood planks. I've kind of mentioned it before. I don't know if anyone remembers. It depends if you watched it. We can get wood planks, if it's still working, for free. So I'm going to do wood planks long, wood beams, and prefab walls. We'll get all of those going. There, there, and there. If we come around here, we should get... Now, some of them will appear here, or they go over there when it's full on. I can't remember which way around it is now. But these little points here, one of these will do planks long and one of these will do beams I think I think mean, the prefab walls appear over there so I can transport these either myself or I can transport these by train I guess I could take them down so we've got all these points here for various different bits and bobs so we'll see how that all goes what we're also so now we've got our iron furnace running we've got our north sawmill old sawmill running I came I saw yep that would do. I haven't conquered yet. Veni Vidivici. I haven't conquered yet. But <laughs> all of the wood chips I got from that pile of dead wood, the entire lorry load, was it 14? 14 trees I had, amounted to 1,222 litres. 
<laughs> that was it. So, yeah, pointless. Um, I did do a Deadwood contract off camera. I think it was part of that screen. I literally just went out, bum, 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 cut them down and walked away. Because that's just the easiest way of doing those Deadwood contracts. If you want to make a bit of quick money, just whiz out with your chainsaw, bang, 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 knock them all down, walk away. I am looking at alternatives. How can we make that Deadwood more profitable? Um, how can we make it more useful? I don't know. I had a very strange thing happen while I was recording. Uh, while I was recording, while I was prepping off camera. And it was when I had the Land Rover, I hooked up to my trailer. And for some reason, down the bottom left, where it has, you know, it has a attach, it comes up with the icon to attach to whatever it is you're going to attach to. Um, that. Oh, okay. Can I just back down further? I'm going to get my trailer all wet. There we go. Um, that icon didn't go. Even though I was attached to the trailer, it was still saying attach. I thought, that's very strange. So what then happened, which is even more bizarre, if I do on PlayStation controller, um, left shoulder, and then down on L3, and you can do that with your map, what was happening was, if I did that, and then that, that didn't come up, and nor did that. But what did happen was, top right, all the menus disappeared. So it gave me a blank screen, like a, a clean screen. So for doing thumbnails and stuff like that, I thought, oh my, is, is this an update? Have we had an update to the game or something? And then I disconnected the Land Rover, reconnected, and it went. I was like, oh, that's, I don't know what happened. It was the weirdest thing, but that's what it did. And it did that for about 10 minutes. And I thought, that's brilliant. That's a new addition. Um, giants have done that, but it wasn't. But it does beg the question. Most games I play, most games I have played, have a camera mode. Now, again, I know on PC there are camera options. There's various different ones you can do. You can get rid of the hard. You can do all sorts of stuff. Now, I normally do it in post. Um, I do it when I'm editing. So what I'll do is I'll just remove the top bit of the menu. I try and take my thumbnail so I'm in a position where I can remove it nice and easily um, when I'm doing my thumbnails. But it's one of the few games I play at the moment that doesn't have a, a photo option where you can remove the HUD and stuff and get a clean screen for doing Yeah, it's just... just and I thought, they, they've done it, they've done it, but they haven't. Anyway, right. 49,000 litres. We are rocking and rolling. So... Planks lonk, wood beams and prefab walls are underway. Small planks, I'm not doing yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and load this up again, but I'm not going to be bringing the lumber here. I'm going to be selling it. Um, moving towards probably buying a, a log harvester. That's the plan. This has got a nice bit of grunt, does the job. I, I just like, like the look of it as well, I think it looks brilliant. Like I said, I'm not in any way slighting any other modders. I know there are some phenomenal uh, lorry mods and stuff out there, some fantastic cab overs, there's some amazing stuff out there. Um, I just particularly like this. Oh, okay. So I'm going to go, I'm going to... Oh, those trees I've cut down, I'm going to... Oh, actually, no, I've just taken this stuff over, haven't I? I'm going to um, do that log, uh, log delivery contract first. Um, so I'll see you there. I might just show myself a little short clip of me loading some logs on, but I don't, don't, it's not really that necessary, is it? And then... I was trying to think, time-wise, that's running... Talked about the wood chips, talked about the changes I've made, showed the first of his equipment. I'm just running through my head the things I need to make sure I do. Oh, yes. You know, I kept saying about um, the collectible. I haven't been to the gallery actually, 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 to check on them. Um, but I kept driving past that lake, and as I was driving past, I kept looking, thinking, you know, if I go past it, if I see one, I'll, I'll collect it. I'm not going to go out of my way. And again, people have been sending me pictures and sending me thumbnails and sending me. Um, different things and telling me where various different ones are and that's great uh, thank you very much I really do appreciate it but I've, I'm, I've been trying as much as possible if I'm somewhere and I'll have a look if I see one I'll pick it up but I'm not going to go hunting them out um, well, I drove past and I suddenly realised it was here maybe there is another one down there but if I just swim out and get a bit soggy there's one here there we go look 17 more to go. 
No, there are other production chains we need to buy. Like I said, the collectibles are going to go towards production chains um, and sort of sundry items, that kind of thing. Because I think when we come to do boat building, we're going to need roof floor tiles, roof shingles, that kind of stuff. That stuff I can't do up here at the old sawmill. We're going to need some of the productions in town. So that's going to go towards any of the collectibles I find should go towards those. But anyway, so see you in a bit. And then what I'll do is I'll hopefully finish with a full log trailer that we'll take and we'll sell.
I am vastly overloaded. Um, I'm hoping to do all right from this. The best price at the moment is up at the um, container shipping yard. So I'm thinking, so I said next episode, uh, log harvester, lease or buy, we'll have a look. We're going to need to go up and check the iron furnace for our metal rolls and we'll do some heavy metal, do some delivery of of um, no, I have really overlooked this. Um, and I'm also then thinking container. I'm going to give a go with the container. So if we if we do get a tree harvest, at least all bought, that will make it quicker for bringing trees down and piling them, which will make it a little bit easier. We'll load up. I think we'll try a container. The problem is I'm going to have to try and put a container onto a trailer, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. The skids to loader won't have enough oomph, I don't think. If I go for a small one, maybe because I'm doing six meter logs now anyway, get the one that does six meter logs, and then hopefully we'll deliver some metal to the to the, the fairground, the roller coaster. I want to buy the boat yard. We'll do that at some point. At the moment, that's just a sell point, so that's not going to help me anything. I take anything there, I need to buy it. So we'll see what we get for this load. I've got a few more trees I have cut down that I just need to load up. But yeah, I think we'll go with a, we'll try a wood container. We'll give that a bit of a whirl. And also, hopefully we have a bit more of our stuff produced. If we turn in nice and gently here. I have to be so careful. Nice and slow on the turns. Whoa. I was lucky because on the Western Wilds it was all fairly flat and even on the flat if you turn too sharply or too quickly or I had a couple of incidents I'm trying to avoid that because the train here is a little bit more uh, unforgiving let's say that so at the moment up at the uh, container warehouse it's 1,800 1, it's 1,500 here, but if you remember last time I had the two small trailers, they were smaller, they were five metre logs, these are all sixes, I've got them stacked higher because it takes more, fingers crossed, I think, what did I get last time, 32, 35, oh, oh, ho, ho. 70 grand, that is mint, okay, that is well worth the time and effort of loading that up full load 70 grand that changes it i thought i might be 40 45 maybe 50 i'll take that all day long so we have got the saw match let's have a look what are we looking at uh so we've got planks long 286 liters wood beam 190 prefab wall 98 so as we move forward we'll get a few more of those and if we go to our metal 617 liters produced but i think that's something we can do because I've got the new trailer. I haven't used that yet either. We're always up to the um, the mine because it's got to be another pile, um, and we'll get another load and take it and make sure the the uh, iron furnace is just full up to the brim. We're good to go. So there must be some metal rolls there. We'll go and collect in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.